shores of the Amazon River. This is a pretty cool place to be, wouldn't you say? Yeah, this is a bucket list item for us, definitely. So we are currently cruising down the Amazon with Rainforest Cruises. We're going to be spending four days and three nights aboard the Delphine Number no. 1. Yeah, and it's a very luxurious boat. It's mm -hmm. we're, we're doing this in style. It's, it's, <laughs> it's awesome. We're going to give you a tour of the boat and we'd also like to show you some of the really cool excursions that we're going to be doing over these next three to four days. So come along. Let's go. This feels like yet another episode of MTV Cribs, but come on in. We are staying in the Anaconda Suite. Pretty cool. No anaconda sighted so far, <laughs> but basically this is our little terrace. We have a nice balcony with views of the Amazon River. And yeah, we can just hang out here, have drinks, read a book. It's pretty cool. I like it. All right, and let's check out the inside of our room. Okay. So I have to admit we've already unpacked. It's not quite as tidy as it was, you know. Well, are we ever tidy? Come on. <laughs> Come on. So, this is the room. This is where we're staying. Got the bed, a little living area. My laptop's off there in the distance. Yeah, our electronics are scattered around. Yep. And the bathroom's just over this way. Ta da! I would say this is our favorite area, the yes. common room. It doesn't get much more relaxing than the common area here. Yeah. These pillows and check out the cool display of bananas and plantains. Lots of plantains. Out. Yes. And the Amazon, the Amazon River is right yeah. there. And if you want to lounge like a lizard, just head over to the bar over there. Ooh. Check that out. And this is a pretty swanky bar. But you know what? I think I'm in the mood for a game of chess. So Sam, I challenge you. So right now I'm going to challenge Sam to a game of chess. We've only played chess twice. And you've never won. And I've never won. So let's see if third time's the charm. Team Audrey. Well, it would appear Sam has emerged victorious. <laughs> so I only had one piece left, my king. That so was that, it. That's my third win against Audrey. So if you're placing bets on all <laughs> the two of us, you should probably go with me. Our first afternoon aboard our Amazon cruise was pretty relaxed. After settling into our rooms, we had some free time to enjoy the boat, and as the sun was beginning to make its way down, we made our way up to the top deck where we got to witness one of the most spectacular sunsets ever. The following morning called for an early start, with everyone ready to board the skiff by 6.30am. Our guide had lured us with the promise of wildlife and a delicious breakfast aboard the boat and thankfully he delivered on both of those. That morning we saw countless blue and yellow macaws, a school of pink dolphins playfully breaking through the water, and sloths slowly going about their day. As for breakfast, the captain took us to a secluded lagoon covered in a blanket of water lettuce where we parked the boat and enjoyed a three-course breakfast featuring fruit kebabs, chicken and avocado salad, and hot sandwiches. It was the perfect way to start off our day on the Amazon.
hot. I am super sweaty, I'm sure you can probably tell. So I'm enjoying the fan, yeah. <laughs> so we are back in the jungle. This afternoon we are doing a jungle walk excursion and we're also going to be doing a canopy walk across a series of suspension bridges. So we're and just on the trail. Boots back on. Rubber boots on and I think this walk I think this walk should be around 40 minutes until we reach the bridge. So yeah. So you've got your weightlifting gloves on. What's this yes. for, Sam? Actually, this is because of the fire ants. And while we're walking across the suspension bridge, we don't want to get any on our hands, so. <laughs> Protection. Protection. So we have reached the first of the series of suspension bridges. Are you feeling ready? <laughs> as ready as I can ever be. I mean, I don't love these, but it should be like some heights. awesome views. I hate heights. Let's go. Bouncy. How are you feeling with all the bounce? Not bad. Are you enjoying the bounce, you Sam? Know what? This one is not very high, so I'm not uh, I'm not freaked out by it yet. Okay. <laughs> Wait till the next one. Yeah. We are up in the canopy. It's pretty cool. We've gained quite a bit of height since the first bridge. And now we are on bridge number three. Ooh, this one kind of swings from side to side, doesn't it? <laughs> so this appears to be the last bridge for a while. And I have to say, I'm pretty proud of Sam. He's practically Tarzan. Practically, yeah. Practically Tarzan. Practically Tarzan. I he doesn't even like that. heights. Wah, wah. <laughs> down, down, right? <laughs> yeah, you did well. The courage is all there. Meal times were another highlight of our cruise aboard the Delphin One. They had an international menu sure to satisfy every palate, but they also made sure to use Amazonian ingredients and feature Peruvian inspired dishes at every meal. Every meal was a delight to our foodie taste buds. So good morning, it's another beautiful day on the Amazon and we've just finished breakfast and we're now heading out on our first excursion of the day we will be going piranha fishing and if you watched our previous video we already did that at the treehouse however i was very unsuccessful while sam caught the biggest piranha yet so we're gonna try it again and see if maybe i can catch one this time okay sam so ready to fish some piranhas yeah. round two so here's the rod here's the bait it's just a little bit of meat and so the whole idea here is to put your rod in and make a splashing sound, like like something's just fell into the water, like an insect or some creature, mm -hmm. and that's going to attract the piranhas. And you just wait until you feel a bit of a tug. So, so over one so far today, but I still like my odds because the last time we tried this, when we were doing the fishing with the treehouse, it took me about 20 times to finally catch something, so I'm going to be patient again. Okay, Sam, so attempt number five, at least. This is five or six, yeah. The, and you know what? These, these piranhas appear to be a little smarter over here. Either that or our hooks aren't quite as sharp because I haven't even felt many tugs. They're just coming and gracefully... Oh, I feel something here. <gasps> oh, 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 no, nothing, nothing yet kind of gracefully false alarm false alarm they're kind of just gracefully <laughs> taking it off the hook oh <gasps> look at that oh look at that it's Same. gone it's gone they ate the bait again oh. womp, womp, womp. so i've been fired mm -hmm. and i've been replaced by wifey, wifey. <laughs> let's see how wifey let's see if i fare any better see how wifey does Oh, I felt a tug. <gasps> no, it's gone. My goodness. <laughs> what? The skill of these piranhas is legendary. Okay, Sam, so tell us about the one who got away. <laughs> so I actually caught it and I was about to bring it in and it got away. 
But it wasn't a piranha. No, it wasn't. It was a little was, sardine. It was, but it was a big fish. It was much that bigger was than the piranha I caught the other day. So, yeah, more uh, more fishing failures over yeah. here. So we officially ran out of bait for piranha fishing, so we kind of gave up on that activity. But right now we are trying kayaking down one of the smaller tributaries of the Amazon, so this should be fun. Excited? With the, with the fear if we go overboard that piranhas are going to eat us. Sam! Just like in Finland. Sam! <laughs> lead the way, brave one, lead the way. While I just sit in the back. Chill out and film, right? That's how. Is that how we? Is that how we roll? Apparently, when you're in the back and no one's keeping an eye on you, things just don't happen. Things don't get done. So it's super peaceful out here on the water, and I have to say, I think this is one of my favorite activities we've done so far. I know we we've we've kind of really taken to kayaking over the years, haven't mm -hmm. we? Yeah. I think we first tried it in was it Vietnam? In or Vietnam. Or and then um, Finland. Now we've done it in Finland. We've also done it in Fredericton. We've done it in Canada. So, yeah, so this, cool. is, this is something that we're, we're not the most adventurous travelers, but this is something that is, <laughs> we can both do. <laughs> right? And that's a scary thought. Cruising down the Amazon. <laughs> about to reach the point where the Ucayali River and the Marañón River meet together to form the Amazon, so that moment calls for a toast. So here is a toast to travels in the Amazon. Salud! Wait, not salud, it's arriba, arriba, abajo, abajo, al centro, al centro, y adentro. Y adentro. Hmm. And that's how you do it in the Amazon. Yeah. So do you want to tell us about this afternoon's excursion? Yeah, so we're visiting this cool kind of little local village. It is called San Francisco. San Francisco. And it's only been around since 1974. Mm -hmm. So it's just over 40 years old. So it's going to be cool to check it out. Uh, we're just going to walk around and see what we find. Yeah. So apparently this village, the reason they started it is because they were looking for higher ground since the previous village used to flood during the rainy season. Audrey? Apparently help squeeze sugar cane. I'm going to help squeeze sugar cane. Let's see if I've got talent for this. 